All right, guys, welcome back. We're here for a new snapshot, second snapshot of 2014. It's called 14W03B. So here we are. We're gonna start now. First of all, I've been looking around everywhere to find a village. Never find found one, so I'll just make it. These are the roads and the village you find in like prairies and all that. The new things about these roads is that under it you're gonna see cobblestone that way if let's say the, the village spawns over a ravine or something the roads won't be collapsing all the way down the ravines the roads will just stay up standing and all that so you can still use it and they won't be all messed up and destroyed that's all for the the village and um, next we have well it's still parts of part of villages i guess but yeah Couple mobs, actually, only two mobs, the Iron Golem and the uh, Zombie Pigments, uh, had their drop uh, kind of slightly modified, depending on how it it dies. So the for the Iron Golem, if it gets killed by a the player, that's a little bit loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. There we go. So if I kill it, it's gonna drop something when it dies. At some, there we go. So, as usual, it always drops iron ingots, and it still does. If I kill it, or if I kill it using a bow, or any sort of TNT, or redstone, whatever, if it's, like, powered by me, or activated by the player, it still drops the iron ingots. But if it's killed by something, I guess, by fire, if it falls to from too high if it dies and it's not me that killed it it's not only gonna drop the the puppy flower so i did not try it yet i've dug a hole underneath the um golem it's right here it goes pretty far down so i'm gonna just destroy the floor it's gonna fall hopefully it will die if it doesn't die too bad at least i tried so here we are it's probably gonna die and it didn't die. I don't know why. Might have been because of this. I don't know. But it's still alive. Which is too bad. But whatever. I'll kill it. Just, just like that. But usually if it dies by itself. Or by accident. Or by whatever. It's supposed to drop puppies. Not puppies by woof woof. Puppies like the flower. So yes, same thing goes for the iron, uh, the um, zombie pigman. If you kill it yourself, you'll get golden nuggets, iron, uh, golden sword. If it dies by itself or whatever, you'll get running flesh. So that's what's different about the mobs. Next we have hardened clay. So in the uh, uh, desert temples, that, which you find sometimes in the wild, the um, wool block have been replaced by a hardened clay. So Usually you used to have orange wool here, and if I go in it, right here, dug a hole, so you have this clay here, blue clay, which looks like purple, orange hardened clay, and um, yes, that's what changed for the desert temple. And actually one other thing you have about mobs is that if a villager, so a testificate get, gets hit by a lightning, it will change into a witch. Just like how a zombie, a, a pig gets hit by lightning, becomes a zombie pigman. Testificate, lightning gets a witch. That's what's different about that. And I also have something else to show you. Let me kill myself because my respawn point is right here. It's not here. That's weird. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Never mind. Never mind, it's right over here. This is not there. Oh, I need to TP. Making mistakes, making mistakes. There we go, here. I am right here. So yeah, let's go over what first, uh, this, I guess. Yeah, right here. So you now have, you know the um, commands called set block. It's been modified. And improved actually so you can like set a whatever block you want at certain coordinates which are here 
and you can set chests and whatever. You can also set items in the chest, furnace or whatever that can hold stuff. So here you can see I've put in that thing right here that says slot 10. So it's going to add in the slot 10 of the chest that will spawn over this red wool block a diamond and it's going to add two diamonds. So let me run the command real quick. So these are the coordinates. Press the button, chest appears in it, slot 10, you get it, diamond. So that's pretty fancy stuff, pretty useful for uh, adventure maps and all that. That's pretty cool. Let's jump over a new option for the skin. So if you go onto options, you'll see this new button here. It's called skin customization. You just go in there and you can modify your skin. So they've added jackets, sleeves, leg for your pants, uh, pants for your leg, I mean, hat, which has been there before, pants again, sleeves, cape, which has been there before. So I can turn on and off these parts of my skin. Actually, right now, if I'm wearing a jacket, a sleeve or whatever, as you can see, it doesn't change anything here. There we go, nothing changed except for the hat. If I remove the hat, you'll see that my head looks pretty awful. And it's also not too bad as well. So let's just put that hat back on. There we go, that looks much better. Wrong button, great. All right, that's all for the um, skin thing. Next we have a new command that's called fill, which is pretty useful. It allows you to fill a certain area with whatever types of blog you want. Here how it goes, you just set in a slash fill, then space, you enter uh, first coordinates, which are gonna be these one here for me. And then you have the other coordinates, which are gonna be this one here for me. And then you just set dirt, stone, whatever kind of block you want. So here are, my, here are my two coordinates, this one here and that one over there. If I go check that out, we have fill, my first coordinates, no comma, no nothing, just make a space. Then you have your other coordinates, again, nothing between them, just space, and then I've set in stone. So this area from here to there will be filled in stone, just like that. There we go, pretty fairly simple. I've added the same thing here, but instead it's gonna be one block higher since I've changed the height here from 66 to 67, and I've replaced the block with dirt. So there we go, it's two layers of dirt. If I want, I can make it even higher and uh, maybe bigger, why not, and put in some iron. I guess. Can I do that? Can I? I cannot. So let's just put in stone. There we go. Boom. Bigger, longer, higher, and all stone. So that's a pretty cool feature. Next, we have an also a new command. It's called the clone command, which works pretty like pretty much like what you would find in the world edit mod. So you just enter slash cone, first coordinates, second one, and then you have the place where you want it to go. So here are my coordinates. This one here is gonna be my first one, which are these one here. I have my other ones right here. And then that's going to like take in memory. <clears throat> take in memory the house, which I have in this area. And it's going to copy paste it or cloning. It's going to clone it all the way up to these coordinates here. And as you can see, I've put a red wool block right there to show to you guys that this wool block will end up at this wool block's place. That's how it's gonna move or be cloned, whatever. Here's the example. Boom, there we go. Everything is kept as it was before. So all the signs stay the same. What's written on it stays. Same thing, my house. The glass, everything stays there, and the wool block here is exactly where it's supposed to be. That's a, I guess, pretty cool way if you destroy your house by accident. Let's say a creeper explodes your house, it blows it off, you can just kind of repair it. Boom, and it's repaired. So it's like a way to set your house to a 
perfect Tate every time, I guess. Whatever, that's pretty cool. Next, we have our last thing. Not that important if you're not playing around with the, the commands and all that. But usually, if you wanted to give yourself an object or an item or uh, whatever, you just go slash give enter your name. Mine is Joyamac. One being um, the item IDs for the stone block, and then any number between one and four and sixty-four. But now it doesn't work anymore. Thing is, um, you now have to use the name itself. So here we go. Let, let's. Let me just remove that. Why isn't that working? It's supposed to be working. And it's not working. It's supposed to destroy that. There we go. That's good. That worked. Excellent. Oh, now. Now it works. Oh, sorry about that. All right. So yes, if I want to do it, I just go Joyamac, and then I say stone, 54, boom, I got 54. And now they added another function to the F3 plus H thing, where you will see the um, name of the thing, where you see Minecraft, and then planks, or stone, whatever, and you will see like, for the wood, it's all planks. For these here, it's all stone. And if you want to have like polished granite, you have to write in stone. But you have to put in the um, other number. You see at the right side of the slash, you'll see like number two. That's for polished granite. So the way you do, just go joy, uh, give JMAC stone, let's say 17, 2. Boom. And I got to polish granite. So that's how you get like the same types of blocks but different colors or whatnot. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, click the like button, subscribe and share it with all your friends and see you soon.